What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. So I am on phase one of my new pantry reorganization project. It's the end of the year, and I usually do this just before the holidays uh, because, you know, all year round your pantry blows up, right? So today we're going to try out, we're going to put together one of these commercial utility cards. I currently have several of them. And they're amazing. The ones that I have constantly has mixers and all kinds of stuff on them. And I need one specifically for the pantry. So join me. Part one of our pantry redo is going to be put together one of these utility cards so we can move stuff around. Okay, so I am a big fan of Seville Classics. I have the racks, the stainless steel wire racks, all in the pan room, all in pan room too. That's what I use as my base shelving, also for the pantry. They make these cards. So this is a Members Mark Sam's Club branded cart, but these are made by Seville Classics. Um, and they're great. I have several of them. And I use it to move stuff around in the pan room. I, one of the problems is I always have like mixers on it. So I don't have a cart that's clear and available for use in the pantry. Um, that's what this is going to be for. So let me show you one of those carts. So here is the current state of one of these carts. This is what happened. You get these carts and you ended up using them as storage. And so they always have mixers. Right now I have my Raspberry Ice KitchenAid on here. I have the Kenwood Cooking Chef. I have the Bosch Universal Plus, uh, the base to it. I have the Bear on here, parts to my Universal Plus, and I have some parchment paper. And I also have one of my favorite set of melamine bowls from William Sonoma. So this is what happens, guys. This is what happens. So we are going to designate this new cart as the pantry cart. It's going to be for transportation only, moving ingredients in and out of the pantry, going to get equipment. It's going to be my kitchen and pantry cart. That means at the end of using it, you must clean it off. It should have nothing on it by the end of the day. I don't want this cart to end up like this one where I never have an available cart. I need an available cart. Every time I want to cook, I want to go get sugars and flowers out the pantry. I want to be able to go in there and have a cleaned off cart, put everything that I need, roll it in here, roll it in there to get the equipment that I need for that individual project that I'm working on. And even I can use it for my ingredients. So a lot of times I measure out my ingredients so they're all ready for me to go and I put them on sheet pans. And sometimes I need a place to put those sheet pans so that's what those carts can be used for too. So boo, the rule this for this cart is it has to be cleaned off by the end of the cook each time, right? So that's what this is. This is the kitchen pantry cart. So this is how it comes. They're really inexpensive. This was about $80 and you can't beat the quality of it. Um, it is a commercial utility cart. It has three uh, shelves on it. It holds 500 pounds weight capacity, right? These are amazing. So I think we need to get this out so we can try to put it together. Um, <laughs> ah. let me get my box cutter okay so thanks to boo for getting that out of here for me so these are the plastic that goes on the shelves um, these are the shelves here and it comes with <laughs> these are the legs which are stuck in here these are our legs 
This is the handle. These are the wheels. These are the wheels. The wheels on these things are huge. Anytime you get like anything Seville classes, it's very heavy duty. <laughs> These are the parts we're going to use for the shelves on the poles. I'm not sure what these are. I've used... Those are the bumpers. The bumpers? So you don't bump in the wall. Those will bump, not your racks. Okay. So let's get this over here so we can put it together. Okay, so we're going to take a leg... And you can tell which one is the top because there's a little plug on this one, but there's not on this one. So we're gonna put the bumper on here. My one downstairs doesn't have a bumper. <laughs> then we're gonna take the leg. And then for each one of these, I'm going to put the first shelf here because that's where I have my other one. So you have these little things here and they just go one, one leg is done. So we have our pull. We have a bumper. We got a bumper! <laughs> we got a, a hoof. These are what's going to hold the shelves on. Okay, let's feed the legs through here. Don't do this on your quartz. <laughs> <Don't tough. laughs> and we use this hammer and pound it down so it'll be in there tight. So our next step is to just hit these a little bit with a mallet to secure um, them <laughs> so they don't come out. You definitely want to do this because I've noticed with the shelving, um, not quite as secure unless you use the mallet. Okay. Don't use a hammer. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is going to go up four double, two doubles and four singles. Four doubles and two singles. I think, if that's... Four. One, there's, two, three, four. This is four no, doubles. No, there's not two doubles? There's one, two. That's the second double right there. You want two doubles and four singles? One, two, three, four? Yeah. So it's just before the third double. It's good to count these things because you won't get a level shelf. <laughs> and we're just spacing it based on the other card. Um, hopefully it'll be right. Those are some mighty sexy legs there, dude. <laughs> That's some mighty sexy sneakers, my boo-boo. Yeah. 
Alright, they seem to be in there. So, shelf number deuce two. So, the next one you put the handle on. I mean, 80 bucks for one of these? You can't beat that price. Eventually, we'll probably get one for the garage so I can move stuff around the garage. Okay, so these little things go on here, so. They're like shelf liners, they're made out of thick plastic. Yeah. And they're wonderful. And if you gotta order them from Seville, ha <laughs> ha! expensive. So don't lose them. Yeah. Wow. wow. So here, here you go. Pay attention. These have um, a little more of a wider slash, where these ones have a shorter slash, and that kind of makes it fit better. Bottom one should just go like that. And the bottom one. Yeah. And there you go, boo boo. And the pantry cart is complete. Now we just need a little sign that says pantry cart use only. Right, yeah. yeah. So there is the kitchen pantry cart. It's ready to go. So what are the house rules on these, boo? Empty by the end of the day. Yeah. Yay. So what's up? It's Wednesday. Part one to the pantry organization redo is complete.